Hello everybody, my name is PhoenixFlame95 and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on audio sync bars. They look like this. Basically it's just some bars going up and down to some uh, music or some type of audio, but it looks pretty good I think. And I'll show you how to create them. Um, I've already got a new comp I've made and put my audio track in basically just did it by going to project and clicking on the audio track and dragging it over to this little bit here which creates a new composition with the same uh, frame width and height and length as your um, file that you put in so to start with we are going to select a new solid and a white solid we'll call it audio bars okay that's done and go over to effects and presets over here and type in um, audio there's one called audio spectrum here drag it across onto audio bars and there you have it so far so I'm gonna put this start point down to zero and I'm going to put the end point to 1075, I think it is. No, a bit more than that. 1080. Oh, bum, what are you doing? Ah, uh, whoops. I put 180, damn. 1080. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so. I'm going to start, start off with, we are going to change the colour. I think um, we're going to have, have a light, we'll have a nice green today. Um, yep, change the colour to the green I want, not that one, because it looks nice. And now if you look, they go up and down, although not, a, or not. But they should go up and down a little bit. They don't seem to want to at the moment. If you put the maximum height up, it Oh, yeah, of course, sorry. Yeah, I know what's going on there. Yeah, you need to go to audio layer, go up here, and put in. Select your audio track, basically. And it comes up like this. Yeah, so I'm going to scroll down here, go to side options. I'm going to put it as side B only. So it looks like this. It goes up and down with music. Yeah. And perhaps the height's a bit much, actually. We'll see in a minute when we put it into a circle. Um, I may put some more frequency bands in. Um, yeah. I'm going to turn the softness down because personally I think it looks better like that. Um. And yeah, that's it. And go over here, type in polar, and it comes up with polar coordinates. You drag that into audio bars, or whatever you've called your layer. Select the type of conversion from polar to rectangle to rectangle to polar, and you put it up to 100%. And that makes your circle. So, now we can see what it looks like as a circle. Yeah, it looks right actually. Um, may put some more audio bars in to try out. Actually, I think I'll have about a hundred because if you put too many in, it just ruins it. That looks okay. Um, should I try? Um, look at thickness. Oh, definitely not. Actually, yeah, I'll leave it as that for now. I can always edit it later. So now I'm going to go to effect and I'm going to drag in color correction and curves. Then go for a point here, and a point here, put that one down there, put that one up there. It doesn't really matter, really. You can do what you want, just have it the way that you want it. And now, if I can remember where it, that's it, stylized. Oh, I always forget where this is. I'm going to glow. 
and this creates the glow. Um, glow radius, put that up. Uh, glow intensity, glow threshold, yeah, it's basically now it's got more of a glow around it, which creates a better effect. And then, yeah, you can do what you want. I'm going to keep the rest of the sense like that. So now you've got the outside. And if you want to make it like this, the inside as well, then you're going to need to duplicate the layer by clicking on the layer and there and holding Control and D. And go to the order spectrum, go to the side options, click side A. But because it can get a bit big sometimes. Actually, no, that's alright. I think I'll turn the height down a bit for side A. Yeah, just a bit. Actually, quite a bit. Because the inside's not so important, it's the outside that creates the effect, really. So now. It looks like this. And yeah, that looks right. That's pretty much it, really. All I really did as well is just add my logo in the middle. But you don't really have to do that. You can just leave it like that, really. I think it looks quite good, personally. Uh, let's run preview a bit of it. Though it may take a little while. Hopefully not. Uh, just to give you an idea. Although I think at the end of this video I'll play my other one just to show you what it's like. Or oh, I'll play a clip from it anyway. So let's see this. Yeah, that, that's alright. Yeah, that's only a bit of it. Perhaps, yeah, actually, perhaps if I show you a bit more in the middle to give you more of an idea. It just takes a while to run preview, that's the only problem. Let's have a look. Um, I only really need a bit. About that? Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah. Well, that's right. So, that's it really. Um, yeah, I'll bring more tutorials out in the future, and can you leave a, a like or subscribe, it would be appreciated, thanks. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.